today I want to show you how to uh, fill a cast net and I may show you three different ways, okay? One is using your teeth, another one is doing it without your teeth, and I may show you another one as well. Okay, so for the first one, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do it with the teeth. So you have here, like if you have a strap like this, you may want to go ahead and do this, and put it through. Now if you, if you think, just know that if you're strapped to your wrist, if you catch a big fish, or something really big, you may be in trouble, okay? If your net does not open properly, part of the problem may be in how you start, okay? You need to have it. So, it's good. It's not tangled up. Okay, I've done other videos on how to throw a cast or whatever, so check this out. Take here. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the one with the teeth first. You ready? So, this is one way, kind of go here. So, I'm right-handed. This is my right hand. Take my left hand, slide it down. You guys got this? Slide it down. Boom. Kind of take the middle, put it in my teeth. Right here. Left hand. Okay? And just kind of go like this. Okay. Um, you should know that when it's going down, now if there's a lot like so if you're trying to catch stuff on the bottom or whatever, just, just you need to understand how the net works. So see, see it? Can you see it right there in the water? So it's, let's say there's a bunch of mullet or something down there. It's very unlikely there would be in this pool. Um, so what you want to do is you kind of want to pull it slowly, okay? Kind of like slowly, maybe little jerks, like you just kind of bring it in slowly and not maybe just jerk on it really hard. Now if you're going to like, you don't want the net to go all the way to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe you want to pull it up, and start pulling quick. Okay, so that's one way. Now I want to go ahead and show you. Um, now I want to go ahead and show you how to do it um, without using your teeth. I'm right handed. Here it is. Take my left finger, put it here in the middle, slide it down. Now this technique may be better used for a larger net. This is kind of a small net right here. But um, even though this technique might work, you work better for you on a bigger net. But so basically, I'm right here, right? So pay attention. I got the net split. I take my right hand. I take this part right here. Okay. So I'm here. I take this part and I grab this. There we go. Now watch my thumb. I turn. Okay. So this is my left hand. I turn left. I turn left and I go like this. Okay, boom, see that, now I go like this, go about maybe halfway in, put this over right here, okay, and then go right here, hopefully I remember this one, it's either you grab this side or this side, I think it's this side though, probably, so let's go ahead and try it, um, so here we go, and you kind of want to turn, and throw it, so let's go ahead and do it. Practice, practice, practice. Let me show you another way. If you have a little net, you really may want like a, a nice big net. And you also may want like a cheap little net, um, for like around docks and stuff like that. Maybe there's like all kinds of barnacles and stuff. And you may not want to risk hurting like a really nice net. This is just kind of like a whatever net. And this is just like, you may be able to experiment and come up with different ways. So like you can hold it here, grab here, kind of grab right here. And then just reach down and grab here. See like the outside edge. You can kind of do like a whirl. Kind of like that. Um, you may be able to like experiment. You may come up with different ways to do it. So this is, this is kind of cool. You can kind of um, load it coming up out of the water. So this is the, what, the dry mouth way. I think, um, let me try this way, on the opposite side, see how it works. This is like the one I did before, but I'm just doing it on the other side, see how it works this way. Yeah, that may be the side to do it on. 
the house at the other edge. So this is kind of cool if you're on a boat. So look, check this out. You may be standing on a boat edge, right? You pull your casting up because you just threw it. You come here, you let it drop, right? Take your left finger. Come here, round. So um, you can see how that works. But if you have like a little tiny net, um, you may be able to get kind of creative. You might be able to figure out ways to do it. And I mean, this actually works. If you have a smaller one, it may even work well. Where you just kind of hold it by the horn, you kind of grab here, kind of um, go, you can do like a little spin. That wasn't perfect. But you just kind of work at it and you just keep doing it and doing it. Um, I've got like all kinds of stuff in a cast net. So long. Um, you, you mean to uh, experiment? You see something? This might be different. There's a way. You kind of like make stuff up. Now, what you need to know is. And where I'm from, the water, a lot of the water is really polluted. So if, if you um, are in the water, or if you threw a net in the water, and then you put it in your mouth, that's kind of disgusting. Okay, I actually got um, Vibrio. I was fishing, and I cut my finger on braid fishing line, and I got Vibrio. And um, I was actually dying in the hospital. Okay, so, and then um, the blood streaks were going up my arm, or the, the like the infection was going up. <clears throat> And a pastor came, anointed me with oil, and prayed for me, and it stopped. So God actually saved my life. You may not want that whole, like, drama. So, I personally, like, I don't like putting stuff in my mouth, like, if I'm, like, there's just all kinds of nasty stuff. So here's, like, just kind of look, see, you may, you may um, be like, I don't like that technique. I like that technique. I don't like that one. Just kind of figure out what works for you. And just kind of... See, like, that's not a good technique. It didn't really open up. That'd be a bummer if you were trying to fish and um, trying to get bait fish and that happened. That'd be a bummer. So let's go ahead and do it again. See that? Not cool. why you don't throw it. You shouldn't. Hang on. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep all these nettos in and you get a chance to see. If you really want to help make sure it's good, maybe make sure it's clean <coughs> before you start. Like free of tangles. There you guys go. I love you. God loves you. God bless you. You're amazing. Let me know which one you like better. Have a good day. So as you're doing this, you may just kind of want to like work on your technique. You kind of practice and practice. And, and some people might have a technique and maybe it works great for them. And maybe you try it and you're like, hey, you know, I don't like it. So you want to try something different. So do like find what works best like for you okay um and kind of go with that but you you may want to get like some different ways try to learn different ways too um and it really may be nice to have like a really small net for some occasions okay so there's um you may want to do a spin sometimes when you do it it might kind of do like a half moon like that thing and um, probably took too much of the lead line. So you just kind of go and practice and practice. And if you mess up, it's totally fine. You just want to try to practice and get so you can do it. Um, hopefully, 
hopefully before you're fishing. Because you want to actually be able to get bait fish, or maybe you're actually fishing by cast net fishing. Um, I actually have like, I've had like a bunch of different sizes. So you may want like a really cheap one and like, you may want like a really cheap one and then you may want like, <coughs> maybe um, a nicer one. You may even want like three different sizes, like a really big one, like a medium, maybe one like eight or nine feet, um, maybe one like 10 or 11 feet, maybe one like five feet or so. This one, I'm six foot, so it comes up to about, see that? So, just kind of go. And, um, let me know which throw you like better. Comment below, please. And uh, I love you. You're amazing. Bye.